Ghana's legal calendar is characterized by three vacations per Order 79 Rule 4 of CI 47. The longest break, which is observed from August 1 and ends on September 30, has generated debates with some legal luminaries calling for it to be scrapped. Justice of the Adentan High Court 1, Enyunam Edinyura, on July 19, called for the scrapping of legal vacation provided in the High Court's Court of Appeal and Supreme Court, citing a backlog of cases after she was forced to give trial dates extending to mid-2025. Private legal practitioner and law professor Kwekwa Sari, also known as Kwekwa Zan, described the observance of the legal break as a sign that we are stuck in the 19th century mode of thinking. The high courts, which are usually breaks up with activities of lawyers and justice seekers, have virtually been deserted because of the legal vacation. Now, aside some vacation courts who will be sitting, all the others are on a break and will resume in October. Same cannot be said of the lower courts comprising the district and circuit courts which sit throughout the year. But some lawyers maintain it is a necessary evil. Judges also take the opportunity to write their judgments and rulings. And so it's not like we're on vacation, so we're not working. I'm, I, look, I'm, I'm here today, of course. I'll say, I say I'm in Mufti. But I, I've come to do some work. For me, it's, it, I mean, it's not too long. I, I even wish it could be longer. Well, I, I think uh, it's, it's necessary uh, because uh, as lawyers, most of the time you realize that the whole year you are engaged in legal work. By the time you get to this period, you, you start experiencing the fatigue and all that. So I think it's, it's in one way it's important because it gives us the opportunity to take a break from work and then we regain our energy and prepare for the next legal term. Private legal practitioner Martin Pebu weighs in on the matter. Don't forget that the cases we deal with in court, lots of them, they are specialist cases, okay, with specialist uh, skills by lawyers etc so it's not easy to take one case and just go and give it to another lawyer that i'm going on break just continue no it's 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 not that easy it's a very complex thing so it's better that the vacations are regulated in such a way that all of us go on break at the same time then we come back refreshed at the same time in a recent engagement with lawyers at the ghana bar association secretariat for an end of year legal party Organized by the Greater Accra Bar, Chief Justice Getri Tokonu noted that the vacation will not be scrapped. The Chief Justice stressed the need for lawyers and judges to rest as medically recommended, adding that psychological considerations were made, hence the provision in the court rules. Ghana's current courts number a total of 466 across the country. Since the attorney began, Chief Justice Tokonu has designated 12 courts to sit during the legal vacation. Additionally, Eight courts have been piloted to run shifts to cater for the backlog of cases. The Judicial Service also introduced debt recovery courts after liaising with private firm bills, which had over 55,000 cases at the lower courts. Despite these, however, there is a need to introduce reforms at the courts to improve the efficiency of justice delivery in the country. We have been complaining that laws are old, they are outmoded. Yes, we've been complaining all these years, talking about using police as prosecutors for very serious offenses, something that Kenya has even left behind. When you come to our laws on criminal disclosure, they are still too rudimentary. There are many, 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 many stuff, okay? So we should look at how to have a broad national debate on modernizing our justice. Lord Edward, sorry, TV3 News.